apes together strong. Hello everyone, this is the Shadow One One, and I just came back from my premiere showing of War for the Planet of the Apes. I literally just got back from seeing it on AMC, but IMAX, I mean, it's like the third biggest screen in the theater, I don't know. I didn't get to see it on IMAX because Spider-Man had to take it, because Spider-Man has to take everything. So I couldn't witness my most anticipated movie of the year on IMAX. Kind of disappointing. So I guess I'll have to save my money for Dunkirk and see that on IMAX, but not this movie, which is an infinitely better movie than Spider-Man. Oh, I've been waiting for this movie forever, and I've been literally hyping forever for this movie, and now having finally seen it, it is awesome. By the way, I got this poster like a week ago. I got it like on July 6th, long before the movie came out, long before my birthday. And then I also, let's uh, go, got this. This is like the a gigantic, this is the gigantic bus shelter. It's like pretty much a huge poster of the very first War for the Planet of the Apes uh, po poster, teaser poster for the movie. That, and it's, there's, I think, probably Caesar's face. I mean, holy shit. It's, that's awesome. I got that on my birthday. I had to take it off the wall because our theater's renovating. So, back to here because this is, this is just a badass poster. I mean, it's just so, witness the end July 14th. It's July 13th right now. And, wow. This movie, seriously, kicks ass. And, I mean, I'm about to say, like, yeah, Andy Serkis, the Oscar. I'm like, the Oscars are too good for Andy Serkis. And Andy Serkis is just, like, absolutely, absolutely incredible. Mind-blowing acting in this movie. Mind-blowing CGI. In fact, I think the CGI in this movie is absolutely perfect. I think we're getting there. I think we're getting to the point where CGI is literally indistinguishable. If people were going to watch this movie didn't know they were CGI, they'd have no idea. They think they're real apes. Real makeup. I mean, it's that good. It's. I mean, I'm almost want to say it's better than Jurassic. Actually, it is. It's better than Jurassic Park. Better than Pirates of the Caribbean. Davy Jones. Better than pretty much anything that's come out lately. Like this is it. This is the epitome. If this movie loses Best Visual Effects this year because Rise and both Dawn got screwed by other stupid movies, the Oscars joke. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm so sick of this move. These movies getting screwed out of well-deserved awards. This movie deserves it. The action is incredible. In fact, the, like the, I guess, I don't know if this is a spoiler. I mean, the trailer's kind of spoiler. The opening is incre is mind-blowing. It's war. I mean, you're going to get war. But then people are going to go into this movie thinking it's going to be a two-hour movie and 20 minutes of talking. No, it's it's about probably about 20 minutes of actual war, which might disappoint people, but not me. Because, I'm. I mean, this is Caesar's journey. This is Andy Serkis's movie. It's Marisa's story. It's Rocket's story. I mean, all these great ape characters. And then the girl, too, is also really good, despite having, like, no dialogue, which is really awesome. Um, and Woody Harrelson plays an absolutely despicable villain. And I, I, I don't want to say it because I, he's so good, even though he's not technically alive. <sighs> Copa's in the movie. <sighs> I don't know how, I don't want to say anything. Because I've been initially pitching that Koba would be in the movie, even though he is dead. Yes, that's... Uh, there's spoil no spoiler. I mean, the director and the, everyone there already said, Koba is dead. But that doesn't mean that his visions or will, or just his very memory will haunt Caesar. And it does, and it's terrifying. And Toby Kibble returns. So that's a minor spoiler. But, oh my god, it's so awesome, I, couldn't, I just can't stand it. I gotta, I'm literally gonna go see the movie again. But, um, the visual effects, the acting, I mean, the writing and the cinematography, every single shot in this movie is beautifully done. The editing, oh. I mean, seriously, officially, this is it. This is the perfect trilogy. Rise, Dawn, and War. Perfect trilogy. Good, epic, legendary. I'm sorry, Dark Knight trilogy? Got nothing. Nope. Even Dark Knight trilogy isn't perfect because their villains are pretty uh, okay, except for Heath Ledger. But that's that's another time. Like, this is just, it's one perfect, like, moving story. 
And it literally, every, any expectations you might have had for this movie, I mean, some of mine were met, some of mine were right, but most of the time, my, most of my expectations for this movie were really, were, I was wrong. And I'm really glad I was wrong, because I'm like, I don't want to be spoiled. <sighs> yeah, but perfect trilogy. I'm going to go see this again, like, in the morning, and I'm going to get to sleep, and then I'm going to, like, go see the movie, and then go right to work, and then I'm going to be able to watch the movie again and again and again, and again and again and again, until the movie leaves. But this this movie deserves all the love it's going to get. It's critic I critically claimed, go see the movie. Just support it. Go see this on IMAX. If you can see this on IMAX, because it deserves to be seen on IMAX. So, thank you guys for watching. And, uh... That's my review for War for the Planet of the Apes. Apes together, strong.